My point has always been since Sean McVay left this organization, I don't think he had much of an interest to be here. He had no one left in the building that he trusted that was his guy. That changed a little bit with his quarter, well, not even his quarterback's coach, but his passing in coordinator this year. But I think he got along with very well. Who, Kavanaugh? Uh, no, it's Kevin O'Connell, the yeah, guy yeah. that interviewed oh, yeah. for the job at UCLA. As soon as Sean McVay was out, him and Jay Gruden have never had a great relationship. They have Nobody a fine they relationship. Did. Right. If the Skins would have offered three years, $84 million, all guaranteed, would he have taken it? When? At the like end of the year. Two weeks ago? Yeah. No, not whatever, before whatever, free agency. Whatever Minnesota gave. Not before free agency. He's going to the team that just went to the NFC Championship game with a better supporting No, cast. I think it's a good move. I'm just asking you. It is a good move. I, I would say no. They'd have to do better than the Vikings because it's a way better situation. So right. what are we debating? I don't. I still don't know what the debate you is. Hate is Eric, it, you hate, in addition to hating Skippy, you hate Eric because. No, he, no, no. He, first of all, I don't hate Eric Bickle. He thinks that Kirk is at fault. I, I, you I, can have whatever opinion you want. I think you're being a sucker. For the organization, like so many people before, nobody, nobody here is a sucker the for the organization. Bag. Bruce Allen Come is on. the devil. That no one here is carrying the water for the Redskins. Nobody. This has nothing they really to do with the Redskins. They are trying to muddy the waters on how. But they have not affected the way these four people in here think. Not care at about all. the They're okay. the worst people in the That's country. Fine. Do you think? Hold on. Do you think for one second? That I have an iota of respect you think for he's Bruce been Allen. No, by the I, I don't yeah, necessarily. So come on. I'm not carrying water for I'm Bruce Allen. I'm not telling you he's you are, a piece of human garbage. I think that you're buying some of the <laughs> so things that Dan. are out there on Kirk Cousins. Look, I don't know what else you say when you're a member of a team and deep down you want to leave the organization and be a free well, agent for the first time. That's kind of my question I don't blame for him. This is what I ask. That's a that difficult qu- it, question. It, it, what is he supposed to do? I think he made the did say the right things. He said, listen, I just want to be wanted. I, I, think, I think his narrative changed towards the end. He said some things After I thought McVay were— left. No, no, he, he bought in, he he bought in when way. he said nice things about Josh Doxson once. <laughs> well, yeah, he said no. Like, I look forward to Listen, I think two or three years, years ago, he was more honest than he was at the end. But let me ask two you Two or this. three years ago, let me finish. Yeah. Two or three years ago, he said things like, you know what, I just want to be wanted. I want to, you know, I can't even remember the exact quotes, but he kept saying them over and over and over. Like, the ball's in their court now. And then it changed. Then it changed over the last year, and I started to buy in, and I feel burned on it. I, and I said it on the air. the day uh, Every day I've said it. But the what should he have said? I don't know, but he shouldn't have said, things are going great now. My relationship with Bruce and Dan are unbelievable right now. Uh, everything's going swimmingly. So you basically want to be wanna, more I would honest. Love, yes. I would love to finish my career here in Washington. That was a lie. He didn't. He wanted to. And he did say at times, Depending I want to be a free agency. Was. Depending on what the money was. I want to choose. I give him credit. I want to choose my own destination. I haven't done that in 12 years or whatever. Well, Those I think times there's was, two disagreements then. <laughs> the first is that you think he should have – if you're asking me, do I think he was a politician this entire time? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I think he said what he was supposed to say publicly. I think he should have, by the way. Is he supposed to say, I don't like Bruce Allen at all? No, you can't yeah, say I, that. Yeah, Is he I supposed know. to say, I don't want to go into work every day working for Dan Snyder and Bruce Allen because I don't think they can build a championship Yeah, there's team? a middle ground. No. You don't have to be the two extremes. There's a middle ground. There's a middle ground. That I thought he is, played it pretty well for two years. The I don't last think, year he went over the top. I, I don't think the idea that he was never going to consider coming back to the Redskins is correct. Like, you're acting like he was just uh, waiting for free agency and then was never going to talk to the Redskins again. I think what he wanted all along was to see what the market bared. I think in March this year, he would have seen what the market was. The Redskins, just like everyone else, would have been able to make offers to him. Mm-hmm. If they can get better than the Vikings, then he would have considered coming back here. But he knew all along that wasn't going to happen. No, he wasn't going to come because here. Because the Redskins that's don't think that highly of him. Yeah, but that's really different. Because here's, even here's, the Redskins overpaid. So you have, here's just a back fun here. question You think he you. would have taken less money in Minnesota? Yeah. In I the same so ballpark? Too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Danny, I'm just going to ask. What about if it was three years? Danny, Grant will get upset. I know there's a bunch of questions coming up. I don't know. Here's a question for you. Okay. EB has stated on this show that Kirk Cousins is dead to him. Is he dead to you? <laughs> no. Not dead to me. Are just you just but, but here's the thing. But here's the thing. But here's the thing. Why am I upset? <laughs> no, but here's the thing. If it was a wizard or somebody that, that left, like the same thing with cakes, like with Kwame right. left. left. Yeah. Oh, dead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's funeral. It's just, but I, I, here's, here's why I can't play. The, the Redskins made a move. The Redskins did this to, to Brian Mitchell. They did this to, uh, uh, to LeVar Arrington. They did it now to Kirk Cousins. They made a move. It's not Kirk Cousins' fault that he's not here. He, he could that be is here. A, That is true. They could continue to transition tag and franchise leaving. and tag forever. Well, that's what I was going to ask you. How can you blame the, the guy for wanting to be in a I different don't. situation? He played it brilliantly. I don't he care. He played it brilliantly. I don't care. It was just a, a little fan. disingenuous along the way. That's all I'm saying. It, it's, it's such a weird thing to be critical of. I, I understand yeah. that, a, that a fan can get upset. I need the, I need the Redskins or 
like my friend Eric Bickle. I need them to be above this sort of <laughs> thing and act like pros. They're not going to. They're garbage. They're doing it now with these friend articles and, and leaking yeah, crap who out. Who cares? They, they do. <laughs> the Bruce, they care. Bruce you understand, and Dan you are... might not be buying in, I suppose, but a lot of people are. And those are the people we were talking about on the show yesterday. Like, to me, to say it's disingenuous, that's a fair word to use, I guess, in that you think he should have told the truth. I think it's different when you start calling him a phony and, and all these other things. Well, I do know for a fact that, like, you like that all in front of the cameras and how <laughs> ah, you like me now. And all. Yeah. Ooh, wee. That, come on, that's marketing. Goofy. That's marketing. It's contrived. Let's just call it what it is. I, I guess I just don't care about and any of that. Two days before okay, free agency it's, starts. It factors yeah. into how someone might form an opinion of a person. Eric, two days that's before all. free agency starts, two days before they announce their brand new quarterback, and they've already moved on, the organization has. Their general manager is giving quotes about the guy that used to be here. So you, you can't tell me nobody cares. They're doing it. Yeah, They're actively guys, doing it. I, I know. I just, I just I wish you had a little off. bit more state media I, I just don't care what they say. They it's have an no impact on my opinion. Campaign on the way they out. Might he's flying high. Then he's, I, I just want you to have a little state media, maybe. <laughs> Why can't can't have have it's my team. It's my team. I, you know I stay media about teams I don't care about. It's a team I care passionately about.